everybody, Dana here again with more Tuesday tips for leaders of volunteers. And I am purposefully wearing my Sasquatch Bigfoot sweater and I'm in the Northern California Redwoods to talk about legends and lore and maybe even busting open a few myths that tend to hang around agencies for many years, especially, but we've always done it that way. And there's really three things to think about in addressing why we've always done it that way. And that is the why, when did that process start and who started the process or who is still invested in doing it that way. And sometimes the answers can be really surprising and just being emotionally neutral and gently asking these questions, not you know accusing anyone of doing anything wrong, but just saying, well, does this still serve us? Now, some agencies, are in a process of continuous evaluation and you know every few years maybe they're looking at processes and tightening it down and certainly tech companies do that very very frequently because technology is always updating and changing but for most agencies that i've worked with they haven't examined their processes or even some of their technology for years and years or decades and decades and one example is uh, i was working with a client last year and we're updating you know processes from 50 years ago and i started to ask well why are why is this the volunteer onboarding process and no one could remember they had always been hired and this is how it was done and no one could remember the origin story of the myth and the legends and the lore of this process that really didn't didn't serve anyone it maybe didn't even serve anyone in the 70s when it started so just something sometimes asking the question helps people get clarity of like oh we can update this i'm not so attached to it it's also important for the when and the who if if it started you know only three or five years ago maybe some tiny little updates or tweaks are necessary but you don't have to overhaul the whole thing again technology usually needs to be updated more frequently and another example i had with a client was you know a volunteer had worked very very hard before there was um paid staff doing a job and they had gotten a volunteer management software system for the agency at a discount. They were very proud of that. And that was 10 years ago. So every technology should be updated more often than every 10 years and see how, um, how it can serve the mission that you're doing. So asking who, why, when, and then being emotionally neutral in really evaluating the pain points and what's still worth keeping of that process, if anything, and how can we change it and do that change management in a really balanced way so that we're not so sudden that people are frustrated and confused and learning new technologies or learning new systems, but there's a, a good way to follow some specific steps to do change management. And I happened to do a Tuesday Tips video about that not too long ago, and I'll link that to this one at the end. So I hope that you've enjoyed a little bit of busting open some legends and lore and but we've always done it this way. And really just, again, use data, use uh, new information, and just asking the questions helps people realize like, oh, you're right. I guess we should update the system and work smarter for all of us and work better together. So I hope you've enjoyed these Tuesday tips and we'll see you next time.